Fanny Flagg is not my real name. My real name, strangely enough, is Patricia Neal. When I went to join Equity years ago, they said, well, you can't use that name because there's already an actress named Patricia Neal. So I thought, oh no, I don't know what to call myself. So I called my, my grandfather and he uh, was an old theatrical man. He worked at the Alabama Theater in Birmingham, Alabama as a motion picture machine operator. But he had also uh, worked the spotlight during the vaudeville days. And because I was a comedian, he said, well, he said, I'll tell you what, he said, a lot of comedians came through with the name of Fanny. And he said, I think it's a lucky name. And he said, why don't you take that? I said, okay, I'll take that. Then I didn't have a last name. And finally, a friend of mine uh, called me up, and I said, do you have a good last name for Fanny? And she said, well, she said, um, I know one, Fanny Flagg. I said, oh, that's great. Where would you get it? She said, well, uh, that's uh, Geneva Corsi's grandmother's name. You know, I don't know who Geneva Corsi is, and I never found out, but I'm indebted to her. Real life people. Yeah, I just sit and watch people, and they just are hilarious. You know, I don't bother going to the zoo. I just go to the mall and sit. In the South, people talk a lot, and they, they use the language in a very special way. So I love to have Southern characters because they, they embellish the language. And um, it, it's a different culture. Uh, if I was writing, I wouldn't know how to write a book about, let, let's say, the Far East, you know, like in, in uh, New Hampshire or whatever that is. I guess it's a saga of a, of a family. It starts in the 1800s and goes all the way into the future. It tells the story of a small American town. And it's basically every American small town, how they started. And this particular town um, is Elmwood Springs, Missouri. And I've written about that before. So some of the older the characters that I had before will be in it. And um, it just tells us the, the history of a small town that I think is uh, very similar to the, any small town in America. I've written 10 novels. And I think if I do anything else, it'll probably be short stories because it takes a long time to write a novel. It takes about a year of research, maybe longer, and then a couple of years to write it. I think I'm going to veer towards short stories, if, if anything, yeah. Probably the, the one I write about the most, which is Elmwood Springs, which is really based on the little small town I grew up in in Birmingham. It was a suburb called Woodlawn. And I had such a happy time there because I lived with my grandmother during the war. And I was very happy then. So I probably, if I could go back and recreate it as it was, it's changed, you know, everything changes. I think I'd like to go back and live there. people. Second, the food. Third, the weather. Uh, fourth, the beauty. Fifth, everything. And I'll tell you another thing. Fanny, I like so much better because having my real name be Patricia, when people would call me Patricia, I always thought they were mad at me <laughs> because it was so horrible. So Fanny sounds like they're not mad at me. So I like that.